Okay, finally I was able to get in guys. Um, sorry about that. Welcome everybody, how are you? Hello, Hello teacher. Hi teacher. Good evening. Good evening, everybody. Good evening, everybody. Hello, good evening. Hello, good evening. How is everybody? Great. Good. I'm glad to hear that. Um, okay. Well, um, si me pueden ayudar ahí con sus camaritas, le agradecería bastante. Okay, wonderful. I'm going to take right now attendance. Eh, Alejandra Maria. Here, teacher. Great, right, welcome, Alejandra. Eh, hey. Andre Giovanni. Present, teacher. Right. Um, Edgar um, and he went. Uh, present, present teacher. <clears throat> Excellent. Uh, Fabiola, no, sorry, sorry, Elsie, Janet. Elsie, Janet. Present teacher, present teacher. Great. Excellent. Um, Janet, uh, Fabiola. Fabiola? Fabiola is not here. Okay. Uh, Francisco Javier. Present. Okay, good to see you. Um, let's see. I'm Irene Azucena. Irena Susana? Okay. Uh, Jennifer Magali. Present. Excellent. Okay. Um, Josué Alberto. Josué Alberto? Not here. Okay. All right. Con Francisco. Ray, Julio Cesar. Present teacher. Ray, Carla Cano. Carla, Carla Cano. Carla uh, López. Carla López is not here. Okay, Manuel, Manuel de Jesús. <coughs> Manuel de Jesús, no Manuel Alejandro, present teacher, okay, great, Mariela, present. Okay, great. Uh, Marvin. Marvin Wilfredo? Present teacher. Ah, oh, wonderful. Okay. Uh, what... Juan 
Warner is not here. Okay. Eh, Soyla. Soyla Noemi. Okay, and Suleima Yvonne? Present. Okay, great. All right, guys, um, welcome to today's class. Um, good to see you once again. Um, I hope everybody is having a good week so far. I hope everybody is, um, uh, you know, so far at the, we're in the middle of the week, so we're almost finished, right? Um, two more days and then uh, we just finish. So hopefully you're having a good week. Um, so today what we're gonna do, uh, we're gonna start right away. Um, just give me a moment. All right, can you guys see the PowerPoint? Oh, yes. Okay, all right, great. So here we go. So today is, well, we're, this is the beginners, uh, unit three customer service is day number 13. Today is Wednesday, March 17th, 2021, and your facilitator is Jessica Guerrero. Okay, so yesterday at the end of the class, we started talking a little bit about um, the negative form, okay? So let's talk a little bit about the negative form here. Let me just make this a little bit bigger so it's easier for you guys to see. Okay, there we go. All right, so the, this is the passive B and the simple past negative. So here are some sentences that I want us to analyze together. So we're gonna start with verbs, uh, with um, sentences with B, okay? So we're, the first thing we're gonna do is start talking about B, okay? Now the passive B, what is the passive B? Was. Was. Very good. Or. Were. Or were. Exactly. Were. Was or were. So um, when we, so we're always going to be used was or were. Um, in the negative, it's going to be weren't or wasn't, right? So here we have some examples. We have the word weren't, okay? And, um, give me a second. Okay, so here we have, they weren't angry at him, okay? So we're using here the verb be, and in the, in the past, it's, it's were and the negative weren't. Okay, got it. So far, so good. Yeah, it's good. Uh, okay, and here over here we have she wasn't there. So here we're using the past of be for she is was 
and the negative form is wasn't, okay? And over here, we have also, I wasn't at home yesterday. Again, for I, the, the passive I, of the verb to be for I is was, and the negative is wasn't. Now, there are two things that you can do with the verb to be in the past, uh, or in general, right? You can either use it with an adjective. For example, in this case, we're using it with the adjective angry. Oops, I'm going to change. That's better. Okay, so uh, we're going to use it with the adjective angry. Okay, so they weren't angry at him. But that's not the only form we can use it. Uh, for example, if you notice this one, she wasn't there. There is no, there is no adjective there, right? Okay, we just have an object. I wasn't at home yesterday. Here at home yesterday, this is an adverb, okay? So it's not necessary, but we can use an adjective, okay? Any questions about that? Okay, um, was this for singular and, and where is for plural? Or I wrong? Um, yes and no. Just give me a second. I'm going to bring this over. And I'm going to write on the other side. Okay, so was and were is the only form of the verb be, okay? And when we are talking about, when we're talking about um, was or were, we have to take in consideration what the subject is, okay? So for example, for I, ah, that's one. I think I'm going to do this. I think that's a little bit easier if I do it like this. Yeah. It's going to be easier. Okay, so um, okay, so we have um, seven subjects, okay? We'll see in a moment. Okay, there you go. So I, you, um, she, he, it, we, you, they. Those are the seven, okay, the seven um, subjects, okay? Now, with those seven subjects, uh, we gotta be careful which one we're gonna be using because, um, for example, basically with this one, with I, we're going to be using, uh, let me write it in. We're going to be using was, or if it's negative, we're going to be using wasn't. Okay. Sounds good for everybody. Is that okay? So, or it's not clear. No. Yeah, it's okay. Okay, now, um, I'm okay, so, 
and then um, and then for you, we're going to be using uh, weren't was or sorry were or weren't. And that this is the reason why I'm saying yes or no, because if you notice, you is singular in this one, but it, we do not use was, we use were, even though it's singular, okay? And now she, yes, we use was, or in the negative, we say wasn't. In he, the same thing, was, or in the negative, we say wasn't. Okay. Uh, with it, the same story, we say was, or negative, we say wasn't. With we, we use were, or negative, weren't. You, in this case, again, we use were, or negative, weren't. And again, with we, with they, we use were or negative weren't. Okay, so there you go. Those are the answers. Now, um, like I said before, the, the you you said was is for singular and were is for plural. Mm, yes and no, because we, you, and they are plural. We use were, but remember that also you can be singular, like over here, and we also use were, even though it's singular. Okay, does that make sense? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Yeah. Okay. All right. Good. Okay, but uh, this is structure no chance for a loan of uh, the phrase or para armar la frase, digamos. What do you mean? Okay. Um, it was for I, was for uh, he, she, I, and where we, you, date, and you. Okay, but if um, if only I would use uh, I was. Oh, okay. You was is, is not possible. No. Or singular. No. That's why I'm saying. I, that's why I can't say. Yes, that for singular, it's always going to be was, because with you, we always use were. O sea, que esa es la excepción. O sea, no, por eso no les puedo decir que la regla es was es para singular, porque en este caso, you puede ser singular y sin embargo, usamos were. Uh, teacher, uh, mm -hmm. uh, I think it's easier uh, to say that where is the past of are and was is the past of am and is. Exactly. Mm -hmm. That's exactly right. Yeah. Okay. Any other questions that you guys have? No? Okay, all right, let's continue um, talking about this one. So let's let's go on to the next the other ex the other exercises that we have here. In the other exercises, uh, we have a I didn't want to go to the dentist. Here we are not using we're not using um, the um, the verb to be, we're using another verb. What is the verb that we're using here? In this one, what verb are we using? Oh. In this one, sorry, e. what? E. Uh huh. It, no, it's not did. E. What? And this one is want. Exactly. We're using the word want. Just give me a second, okay. So the verb is want, okay, that's the verb, want, okay. 
In this one, the verb is? Have. 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 Good. She didn't have time. Good. You didn't close the door. What's the verb? Close. Close. Very good. He didn't come to my party. What's the verb? Come. Come. Very good. She didn't study so that they so they didn't pass the test. We have two, two verbs here. What are the verbs? Study and study. Study and pass. And pass. Very good. Study and pass. Mm -hmm. All right, and in this one, what's the verb? We we didn't sleep well last night. Sleep. 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 Very good. Okay, excellent. All right. Now, but if you notice, want, have, close, come, study, pass, sleep are not in the past. They are not in the past. And we're studying the past. Why are they not in the past? The reason is because. The other, the other verb is, sorry, the other verb, sorry, no, I'm sorry, not, not the other verb. The other word is the auxiliary. And the auxiliary is in the past. So if you notice, the auxiliary is didn't. Okay? So we're using didn't as an auxiliary, and that is in the past. So I didn't want to go to the dentist. She didn't have time. You didn't close the door. Okay, you didn't close the door. Um, he didn't come to my party. They didn't study. So they didn't pass the test. We didn't sleep well last night. So notice that the reason why the verb is not in the past is because we put the auxiliary in the past, okay? So notice that we don't say, it's impossible to say, for example, okay, I didn't want it to go to, to the dentist. That's not possible. We don't say, I didn't have, I didn't, I don't say, um, she didn't had time. No, it's she didn't have time. You don't say you didn't close the door. You say you didn't close the door. You don't say he didn't came to my party. We say he didn't come to my party. You don't say they didn't study, D, right? No, we just say they didn't study. So they didn't pass, not they didn't pass. That's impossible. And we didn't sleep is well is correct, but it's not correct to say we didn't slept well last night. Okay, does that make sense for everybody? So the verb has to be in the regular form. Okay, just the regular form. The only thing that changes to the past is the auxiliary. The auxiliary didn't, but if you notice, Independent of the subject, the subject is I, she, you, he, they, we, it doesn't matter. It's always going to be didn't. Okay? To say independiente. No importa si le ponga el I, she, he, we, they, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. It's always going to be didn't. Didn't, 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 didn't. Is that clear for everybody? Yes, teacher. Yeah? Yes, teacher. 
Any questions? No? Okay. All right, I'm going to teacher, teacher. now. Yes? Um, it is, is, is always for, uh, for this structure, for a past negative, for a simple past negative? Mm -hmm. Exactly, this is always a structure. So with the verb to be, was it? Is the unit? Word or was It's only? Sorry? It's only, now it is uh, don't, like this. It's didn't, 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 didn't. Didn't, exactly. See, it, no importa, no importa if it's I, you, he, she, it, we, they, it's always going to be didn't. I didn't, didn't, you didn't, he didn't, they didn't. Everything is going to be didn't. Okay? Is that okay? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Okay, good, excellent. All right, so um, now that you understand that, um, okay, so now that you understand that, we are going to move to the next part. Um, in, in your book, you will notice that um, there is, Okay, um, so here we have some sentences. Okay, it says, write the sentence using the negative in simple past. It says, I am satisfied with my laptop. Marta writes a letter to her boss. We are so happy with the food service. Pedro and me drive to the company. De hecho, es, eso se les voy a corregir. This is una video. So just, just um, keep in mind that with this one, it should be Pedro and I, not Pedro and me, okay? So it should say Pedro and I, okay? Pedro and I. So if you guys wanna change that. When you me and when I. Um. When it's a subject, you use I. When it's the object, we use me. Okay. And in this case, it's the subject because I'm Pedro and I are the ones that drive. So those manejamos. Pedro drives, I drive. You never say me drive. Does that make sense? Yeah, is that clear? Yeah. Thank you. Mm -hmm. You're welcome. All right. Um, okay, so so it's Pedro and I drive to the company. The principal sends many emails. The program is too slow. So I want you to take these sentences and change them to the, the simple negative. Okay. Um, I'm going to give you, I would say, I think you can do it in about five, less than five minutes, and then we're going to be comparing with a partner. Okay. So right now. Okay. Ash. Sorry. Ash. In the manual. Oh, you want to know the page? The page is page. 32. Thank you. Mm -hmm. You're welcome. So individually, we're going to be doing this and then we're going to be comparing with partner.
Hello, partner. Hello. Hello, niños. How are you? Hola, Manco. <laughs> okay. Hello, everyone. Hello. 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 <sighs> are you clear with the with the sentences? Um, no. um. <clears throat> If you have questions, you can ask me. That's what I'm, I'm here to help you. So if you have any questions. Okay, the first one is, I am satisfied with my laptop. The negative, uh, the pasos, and is was. Okay, we're going yes. for I wasn't satisfied with my laptop. Exactly. That's the, the first sentence. Okay. Just, and, just, just, a, just a moment, Yvonne. Um, let's give the opportunity to the others to finish. And then we'll, we're going to be sharing with a partner the answers. Sounds good? Oh, okay. So we're just going to give them like um, three more minutes to finish the sentences. Okay. Teacher. Teacher. Hello. Yeah. Yeah. You have a question? Yes, I have a question for you. Okay. Uh, when when I I going to use I and me in a in a in some time, for example, when I going to use Pedro and me or Pedro and I, I have this this doubt. Eh, Pedro and I is when you have the subject. When the, okay. when is the subject? It's the person that does the action. Okay. okay. So um, so Pedro and I in this case drive. Pedro drives, I drive. Okay, and then me is used when the person receives the action, not when they do the action, when they receive the action. For example, you can say, my mom loves Pedro and me. So I receive the love, yes? Yes. Thank you. You're welcome. It's like when you say in Spanish, like a me. Yes. Okay. Yes. Alguien escribió en el chat que tenía problemas de conexión, pero no sé quién es. No, no identifico. Es Mariela. Mari ah, Mariela. Mariela de Los Ángeles. Sí. Oh, okay. Gracias. Es que, es que tiene su nombre en, no sé qué es, coreano. En japonés, a saber. En japonés, no sé. Entonces, no, no, no soy muy buena leyendo coreano japonés, así que no sé. Okay, you ready? Yes. 
Does somebody need more time? Yes, more time. More time? Okay. How much more? Two minutes? The page is page 32. Thank you. Ready? Okay, I'm going to assign you right now to a breakout room to work in pairs and compare your answer. Okay, um, so here we go. I'm only going to give you five minutes, so not very long. Okay, here we go. Let's open up the rooms and I'm actually going to give you okay here we go go ahead join your groups Any questions, girls? No, yes, I was. Is it simple fast or fast? No, I am fast to be. Uh, do you have any questions for me? In the number one, uh, you can go, I'm not satisfied with my laptop. In simple fast. <laughs> I didn't satisfy. Okay, or uh, okay. You're right that um that it's the, I am satisfied changes to negative. I am not. But uh, not. we're talking about the past, and I am not is the present. Mm -hmm. So we have the past. I was not. Mm -hmm. I was not, or I wasn't. I was exactly because the past of M is was, and the negative of was is wasn't. Okay. Okay. Number. Uh, okay. Number two, Marta didn't write a letter to her boss. Okay, good. I'm going to go and help the other people. Okay. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Uh, number two. No, he is. Quizás por. 
Era la millonaria. Eh, realmente yo sentí que la teacher lo que nos estaba haciendo es como dándonos el chance de terminarlas todas al mismo tiempo, vea. Uh -huh. Ajá, y luego irnos así a los, así como estamos usted y yo ahorita aquí en los, en los grupos chiquitos para compartir. Como, ¿Para qué? Ajá. Aunque para sí comparar. escuché que las compañeras, o a saber, vea, bueno, no sé, yo se le doy mi punto de vista. Hello, teacher, good night, how are you today? No. Good evening, Carla. Good evening, teacher. Um, do you have any questions for I me? I feel so embarrassing. Uh, oh, no, yes, teacher. no problem. Yes, teacher, I have a question. Mm -hmm. Me too. Uh -huh. Me too. What's your question? Mm -hmm. uh, in the number three, we, uh, we are so happy with the food service. Say, we weren't so happy with the food. Eso pusimos nosotros, pero tengo dudas con el so. It's necessary uh, to use yeah, the... So happy. Uh -huh. So happy is tan contento. Uh -huh. But if if we need to use that uh, sentence in negative form, uh, the 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 sentence is we weren't happy with the food service. Right. Just make sure that it's, we weren't so happy. Ah, okay. Good service. But yes, we... that's okay. Okay, teacher. And number six, mm -hmm. we, uh, the Watson program is too slow. It's correct. The program wasn't slow. Right. Uh -huh. The passive is, is was. Okay. And the negative of was is wasn't. Mm -hmm. Okay. So the program wasn't. Ah, but teacher in the number six, eh, eh, uh, we have another word is two. We need to use the, the program wasn't wasn't too slow or not or is too slow no that's fine you can continue in two yeah that's fine ah, okay no the buff is correct what both for example if i say the program wasn't slow without the without two. Um. Yeah, you can use it. Okay. Yeah, but um, but I I would prefer that you just change the verb. Don't comp don't complicate it. Just change the verb only. Don't change ah, it. Okay. 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 Okay, teacher. Okay, I'll see you in the main room. Okay, okay teacher. teacher, see you. Thanks. Thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. Okay, great. So we're going to check the answers. Uh, let me project right now.
Okay, can you all see? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. I can see it. Oh. Yes. All right, let me just change the, the slide because that was the next one. Just for a second. Okay, all right. Um, so, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to write upon this, but let's try. All right, so um, let's have different people help me, uh, give me the answer. Remember, what we're doing is we are writing the, not only the past, but the negative form, okay? So let's start with the first one, number one. Um, can I have Yvonne help me with number one? Okay. I wasn't satisfied with my laptop. Very good. Excellent. I wasn't satisfied with my laptop. Why is this the reason? Because remember, um, the past of M is was, and the negative of was is wasn't. Okay? Is that pretty teacher, clear for everybody? Uh, yes. Teacher, but uh, the bird is in past satisfied. Okay. Satisfied is actually not a verb. Okay, I know it looks like a verb, but it's not a verb. Satisfied is a adjective. It's like in Spanish you say satisfecho. Satisfecho is not a is not a verb, right? Okay. It, it's satisfecho is an adjective. It's un, una palabra que describe como se siente alguien. So it's it's a it's an adjective. Okay. Is that clear? Okay. All right. Yes. Okay. Good. Let's go with, um, let's see, we'll have um, Noemi. Sorla Noemi, help me. Okay. Marta didn't write a letter to her boss. Good. Marta didn't write a letter to her boss. And notice that uh, you say Marta didn't write, not right. Marta didn't write. Yeah. So you do not put an S. There's no S in write. Why? Because it's the past. In the past mm -hmm. we use with the didn't. This is the important part that makes it the past. Very good. Very, very good. Okay. Julio uh, Cesar, tell me with number three, please. Sure. Um, we weren't so happy with the food service. Very good. Excellent. We weren't so happy with the food service. There we go. Because the past of R is were, and the negative of were is weren't. Right. Excellent. Okay, number four. Let's see who can help us. Number four. Can we have um, Marvin Winfredo help us with number four? And to chair number four, Pedro and I didn't drive to the company. Very good. Pedro and I, remember, not me. Yeah, I didn't. Oops, that's one. Let me come here. All right, let's try this again. 
company. So Pedro and I didn't drive to the company. And remember that it's Pedro and I, and not Pedro and me. And you say drive, not drives. Okay. All right. Next, uh, we'll have um, number five. We'll have a Carla. Can you help me with number five, Carla? And the number five, mm -hmm. uh, the principal wasn't sent many emails. The principal wasn't? Okay. Uh, what's the or verb? Didn't. What, what is the verb, Carla? Uh, the verb is send. Very good. The verb is send. So only use was or were if the verb is be. But here the verb is not be, the verb is send. Ah, yeah, so what teacher, do we sorry. Use? Oh, it's okay, it's okay. Mm, didn't. Very good, did it. Didn't send. Send. Very good. Send. Many emails. Many emails, Many emails. very good. The principal didn't send many emails. Remember, remember that if the verb is be, then we can use was or were. Wasn't or were. But if it's a okay. verb, if any other verbs, cualquier otro verbo, los, de lo, el 99.999% de los verbos, va a usar didn't. Only the verb to be use was or were. Okay, okay teacher. All right, and the last one, let's have Andres. Andres Giovanni, you wanna help me? Okay, teacher, the last one is the program wasn't too slow. Okay, very good. The program wasn't too slow. Good, uh, remember that the past of is, is was, and the past of was, as right, the negative of was is wasn't. So the program wasn't too slow. Uh, okay. I have a, a question. Yeah. Uh, What's your question? Is correct to use always didn't, or we have to use the verbs in past? If it's negative, you have to use didn't. Okay, so this is for negatives. We're talking about, remember, this is negatives right there, negatives. Okay, so if it's negative, the only possibility is using didn't for the 99.9% 99 .9 of the verbs and wasn't or weren't like here for the verb to be. So notice, I wasn't interested, you weren't cold. I wasn't kind, the people weren't helpful. Um, they weren't online, okay? okay. So always wasn't Thanks. and weren't. And with Thanks. all the other verbs, we have didn't, 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 didn't. Okay? Okay. Any questions? Teacher, uh, um, can uh, can use uh, only uh, pass of B? Um, uh, Sorry? Uh, see, teacher, uh, can can you can you can you use uh, past of be only a sentence be? We only use the past of be with the sentence with be, correct? Okay. With okay. all the other verbs, you use didn't. Okay. Okay. Thank I go, you. I will give the Algo que, de, algo que les va a ayudar desde ahorita para entender eh, el cuore de inglés es de que cuando estamos hablando del verbo to be, el verbo to be siempre es una excepción a las reglas. Usted va a encontrar de que, de que hay cierta regla y se, y se quiebra esa regla con be. Y entonces es imposible decir, por ejemplo, you can say, 
I didn't be interested. I didn't be interested, not possible. Okay, so lo voy a escribir acá para que lo vean. Okay. I didn't be interested is not possible. Okay. So, normalmente, si siguiéramos esta regla, si, si hubiésemos seguido esta regla, entonces sería, I didn't be interested. Pero, no, porque el verbo to be es un verbo que, que siempre es, es diferente a los demás. Es una excepción. So, por eso no usamos didn't, en vez de usamos so wasn't or weren't. Ok. Is this okay? It's okay. Okay, good. It's okay. All right, guys. Um, what we're going to do now is we're going to be completing a conversation. Now it's your turn. Okay. So um, let me just erase here. Okay, so we're going to be working in pairs, and I'm going to uh, you're, I'm going to sign you who's going to be A and who's going to be B. And so you are a company's agent and are calling old customers to check that everything was explained and provided to them. So you are going to be calling. You're you're going to pretend this is a conversation you're going to create. You're going to pretend that you're calling the customers and you're checking if everything was explained and if everything was provided to them. Do you understand this part? Entonces van a, van a, van a imaginarse que ustedes son de customer service. A la vez pasada hablábamos que el, creo que la gran mayoría no lo es, pero nuestro trabajo no es de customer service, pero servicio al cliente. Pero, let's imagine, this is just an, an imagine. So, student A is going to be the customer service representative. And student B is going to be the customer. So, it says, you are a customer, so you tell the agent how your level of satisfaction is. So, no sé qué pasó acá. Pero debería ser, my, your level of satisfaction. The level of satisfaction is okay. So, any questions about this? Entienden lo que van a estar haciendo? No. One of no. you, one of you is going to pretend to be the the, the company's agent. So, uno de ustedes es el representante de la compañía, el otro es el, el cliente, right? And the, the company's agent is going to ask if everything was explained, if everything was provided. The customer is going to say no, uh, no, I'm not satisfied, or yes, I'm satisfied. Okay. Example, this is an example. This is an exa example conversation. Good morning. I'm from X company. And this is this company can be whatever company. For example, good morning. I'm from, I don't know, just to give, okay, I'm from Ingles Corporativo. Okay. Um, so the, you're going to put the, the name of the company. This I am, am I speaking to, and then here you put the name of the person. For example, am I speaking to Lucas? Here an example. Or, or you can say, say the full name. Am I speaking to uh, Juana Isabel? Example, okay. And they say, good morning, yes. She is, she's speaking or he's speaking. Depending if you say, yes, she's speaking. Or if you're a man, Yes, he's speaking. It's like when you say in Spanish, si, sí, el habla, 
o ella, sí, ella habla. Okay. Then we said the reason of this call is to know the level of satisfaction that you have with the last product you brought with us. Okay, the product is fine, but and then you can say the problems. Do we understand? Yes, teacher. Yes. Okay, I'm going to be assigning you then your partner. Um, I'm going to stop sharing. Pero antes que nos vayamos a los grupos, voy a tomar la asistencia nuevamente. Alejandra. Here, teacher. Okay, good. Eh, Andrea Giovanni. Present, teacher. Okay, good. Eh, Edgar Alfredo. Present, teacher. Okay. It's present teacher. Good. Fabiola. Fabiola? Oh, no, tenemos a Fabiola. Okay. All right. Uh, Francisco Javier. Yeah. Okay. Good. Um, Irene Azucena. Present. Okay, mm, Jennifer Magali. Present. Okay, um, Josué Alberto. Josué Alberto. Okay, um, Juan Francisco. Juan Francisco is not here? Yes, teacher. Ah, there he is. Okay, good. Um, good. Julio Cesar? Present teacher. Okay, good, thank you. Carla Cano? Present teacher. Okay, good. Carla Noemi? Okay, Manuel Alejandro. Present teacher. Okay, good. Uh, Manuel, oh, no, sorry. Yes, Manuel de Jesus. Manuel de Jesus? Present. Oh, wonderful, okay. Eh, Present. Mariela. Mariela? Not here, okay. Uh, Marvin Wilfredo. Present teacher. Great. Warner. Present teacher. Wonderful. And Sola Noemi? Present. Great, and Yvonne. Present. Okay, wonderful, excellent. Okay, guys, um, right. what we're gonna do right now, I'm going to make you into groups, into the... Okay. All right, so I'm going to get you guys to work in groups and I'm gonna tell you who you're gonna work with and who's gonna be A and who's gonna be B, okay? All right, so we have um, a, in group number one, we have Edgar, Francisco, and Carla. So uh, Francisco, Javier, you can be the, the agent representative and Edgar and Carla will be the customers, okay? Manuel Montoya, you're in group number two, and Sola Noemi, group number two. 
eh, we'll have uh, Soyla Noemi to be the customer agent, and Manuel will be the customer. I'm oh, sorry, the client. The client. I'm sorry, the customer representative. I don't know. The company representative will be Soyla Noemi, and Manuel will be the customer. In group number three, we have Alejandra and it's Janet. Um, so we have Janet will be the company representative. Alejandra, you will be the customer. In group number four, we have Irene and Warner. Warner, no, sorry, Irene is going to be the company representative. Warner, the customer. In group five, we have Andres Giovanni and Manuel Alejandro. So Alejandro, Manuel Alejandro will be the um, company representative and, and the customer. Juan Francisco and Julio Cesar uh, will have, Juan Francisco will be the company representative and Julio Cesar the customer. And finally, Marvin Wilfredo will be in group number seven with Yvonne. And Marvin, you can uh, be the customer, the, sorry, the company representative, and Yvonne, the customer. Okay? Okay. You ready? Everybody understands what you're going to be doing? Yes. Yes. Okay. All right, here we go. I'm opening the groups. I'm going to be a company representative and you're going to be a customer, customer. In this case, I'm going to start right now. Hi, good morning. I'm Irene from the company. I am I speaking to, to Warner. Okay. Uh, so you... So you tell the agents how your level of satisfaction. Yes, but you need to. Yes, it's the idea uh, that I'm going to be a company representative and you're going to be a customer. Entonces usted va a hacer el nivel de satisfacción acerca de algo, ¿verdad? En este caso, ahí en la página 32 está el, está el diálogo. Yo soy el A y usted es el B. Ah, uh, ok. okay. Ajá, yes. en la 32. Yes. It's Remember that it's 32. customer. No customer, but customer. 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 Correct. Mm -hmm. Customer. customer. Right. customer. Okay. Okay, I'm going to start again. Okay, come here. Very two. Ah, okay. Uh, initial. Yo inicio. Very two. Yes, very two. Oh, I don't know. Okay. You are right now in the report. Okay, I. Está I en la 34. Está en la 34. Tiene que subir. Okay. Es el, ahí, ahí, justo ahí. A la par, ahí donde dice your turn, ahí está el diálogo. ¿Ya lo vio? Ok. Es, no, es... a la par. Es, ok. Es. Ok. Ok. Good morning. I'm Irene from, Irene from Dell Company. I am speaking to Werner. Uh, good morning. Yes, she is speaking. The reason of this call is to know the level of satisfaction that you have with the last product you work with us. 
okay, the product is fine, but Okay. Luego dice, the reason of this call is to know the level of satisfaction that you have with satisfaction. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Thank uh, you. You're welcome. Noemi, do you have any problems with the camera? Ah, uh, es que estaba, estoy compartiendo, teacher, la... Ah, ok. No le permite entonces hacer las dos cosas. No. Oh. Cuando comparte, me quita la. Ah, va. Ok, got it. All right, no problem. Ok, this, the reason of this, call, of this call is to know the level of satisfaction. ¿Cómo me dice? Satisfaction. That you have. Satisfaction. Satisfaction of satisfaction that you have with the the last product you bought with use. Mm -hmm. Okay, the product is fine, but, but... Aquí, aquí empezamos con... Vamos a ver qué lo vamos a poner. Pero... Este... This product is fine, but alguna razón por la cual usted no esté satisfecho. But, eh, bueno, para, para, empezar, para empezar a definir el producto. Ajá. Para, ajá, para hablar. Remember, try, try to do it in English, Manuel. Oh, sorry. Apenas entiendo el español. It's okay. <laughs> Okay, uh, the product uh, um, TV. Excuse me. Hola. Maybe TV. Ah, um, yes, TV. TV and a smart TV. Smart. But, but the smart TV. Mm -hmm. TV eh, eh, bad, bad connection a uh, internet eh, tiene una mala conexión a internet ¿cómo podría decirlo? but eh, but dijimos but the smart TV but the smart TV. The connection is the connection. Bad. It's not we're poor. The, poor. P O O R. Poor. Está pobre. P O O R. The connection. Connection. Internet connection. In <laughs> uh -huh. So that that's um that's what you do. You uh, you tell the customer anything else I can help I'm you with. I'm afraid to know what you were talking about, Julio. So sorry. What was that? I saw you were coming. <laughs> that's why I started speaking in English, and I was like, oh, the teacher is coming. Watch out! Oh my goodness. <laughs> I'm watching you, teacher. Come on. <laughs> oh, hi. Uh -huh. okay. So we were. You you want to be part of the our conversation, eh? <laughs> I want to be a spectator. Okay. Go ahead, Juan Francisco. Go ahead with okay. the, with the um, okay. questioning. <laughs> okay. Uh, good morning, I Francisco from the Sony Company. I am speaking to speaking to Julio Cesar. Yes, he's speaking. Good morning. Uh, the reason of the, the call is to now the level of satisfaction that you had with the last product, the TV. 
sorry TV Cubao we out oh okay the product is fine it's just um sometimes it shuts off by itself and I don't want I don't know what the problem is with that can you help me with it uh, uh, my apology for that. Uh, I will make the report with technical support department and they will call you back as soon as possible. And if you ask, I, can I help, help you? Okay, that would be fine. And no, I, I don't think that would be anything else that you can help me with today, uh, Juan Francisco, you'll be a great help. Okay. <laughs> Excellent, okay. How, how was that teacher? Yeah, that was good. <laughs> that was very good. You, you, you was laughing at us, right? <laughs> <laughs> no, not at all. No, no, that was good, that was good. <laughs> okay, I was just kidding. All okay. right, thank you teacher. All right, anything else I can help you with? Uh, you can help me a lot. Okay. <laughs> All right. But um, let's see. No, I think we're good with this, with this, um, yeah. with this, um, with this lesson. All right, wonderful. Okay, let's, uh, I'll see you guys in the, in the room, in the breakout room in a moment. Sorry, in the in the main session in a moment. Yeah. Okay. All right. No problem. No problem. All right. See you guys soon. Are you ready? Uh, in a moment, please. <laughs> we are drawing uh, our, dialogue, our dialogue. Okay, your dialogue. Okay, you're making the dialogue. Okay. Yeah. Anything I can help you with? Um, you can read it. <laughs> Can read this com your conversation. Okay. Let's start. Okay. 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 Good afternoon. We are calling from. We're calling you from Simon Online. I'm speaking to Carla. Good afternoon. Yes, I'm Carla. What can I help you? The resident of this call is for Edgar, putting him as a reference person. Uh, what do you, do you know him? Oh yeah, he's my brother. Great. Can I talk with him in this moment? Yeah, of course. Give me a moment, please. Hello, I am Edgar. Excellent. Do you have any problem to use your laptop? Yeah, yeah, I have problem with uh, my, my charger. The the recent coming uh, with my laptop. Oh, okay, it's a great problem. <laughs> and the dialogue <laughs> is finished, uh, but uh, <laughs> I'm going to construct more. Okay, I have a question. What do you yeah. mean? Um, there isn't coming with my laptop. Oh, are you saying that that the charger didn't come with the laptop? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So we say. The, the, I have a problem with it. my charger. Um, it didn't come with my laptop. No vino for me. No, no coming. Uh, it didn't. Because didn't. if it didn't. isn't coming, it's no está viniendo. Oh. Uh, right? But okay. It's no vino. It didn't come. It didn't come. Not coming, come. Come with my laptop. Come. It didn't come with my laptop. Uh-huh. It okay didn't come with my laptop. All right, I'll see you guys okay. in the main session in a moment, okay? Okay. One minute, okay. two minutes. Huh? 
One minute, two minutes. Uh, probably less than 30 seconds. Oh. Yeah, well. <laughs> it takes me to go to the okay. other room, okay? Okay. <laughs> All right, see you guys. Bye, teacher. Thank you. Okay, so I think we're ready. I'm guessing we're all ready. Okay, so we're gonna we're gonna start with volunteers. Who would like to start first? No uno a la vez, por favor. Ivo. Okay. Okay, great. Okay. Good evening. I call you from Cotecna. I'm speaking with Miss Ivo. Uh, good evening. Yes, she's speaking. Uh, the reason for my call is to find our your level of satisfaction with the product that you buy and our What's up? Okay, the product is fine, but sometimes the product doesn't work uh, fine and it's very heavy too. I understand you. Have any other opinion about the product? Yes, uh, I think the product is okay, but um, the product, uh, it can improve. I think. Okay, then thanks for your opinion. We will take it in, into account to continue improving our products. Thank you okay. and good night. Okay, good night. Thank you for calling. All right, bravo. Very good, Marvin and Yvonne. Excellent. Yvonne, gracias. Thank you. Okay, let me, you guys deserve an applause there. Very good, excellent. Okay, sounds good. All right, who's next? Next group? Next group? Okay, all right. So since, since everybody wants to go, <laughs> I'm gonna choose. Uh, let's see. Okay, Janet. Janet, who are you working with? With Alejandra. Okay, perfect. All right, so Alejandra and Janet, let's hear your conversation. Okay. Teacher, come back in a moment. Okay. Good afternoon. I'm from AB Telecommunication. Am I speaking for Alejandra, for Miss? Perdón, perdón, de nuevo. Good afternoon, I'm from AB Telecommunication. Am I speaking to Miss Alejandra Jovel? Good afternoon, yes, yeah, she's speaking. The reason of this call is to know the level of satisfaction that you have with the last telephone you bought with us. Okay, the telephone is fine, the model and color, I like it, but I wasn't satisfied with the signal and I have trouble with the system programming. Okay, thank you for your opinion. Okay, thanks, have a good afternoon. 
All right, girls, bravo. Very, very good as well. Okay. And as well, we need we deserve the reaction. All right, excellent. Okay. All right, one more. Let me see. Um, we'll have Warner. Who are you working with, Warner? Uh, working teacher, um, Irene. Okay. All right, you can go ahead and, and work and uh, say your conversation with Irene. Hey, Warner. Good morning. I'm okay. Irene from the company. Um, I speak to Warner. Good morning. Yes, she is speaking. The reason of this call is to know the level of satisfaction that you have with the last talk you work with us. Uh, okay, the product is fine, but the microprocessor is very slow to and its resolution is not high definition. Okay, something something more information about the product that you have? Yes. Yes, tell, tell, tell us, please. So, um, I'm sorry, repeat, please. Uh, do you have more information about the product? Okay, um, thank you. Okay, thank you so much for your information. Uh, going to send to managers of the company for solution. Thank you so much. You're welcome. All right, very good guys, bravo. Again, we also deserve a clap here. Let me give it to you. All right, very good. All right, excellent guys. All right, do you have any questions at this moment? Anything you want to ask about? So everything okay. is clear? No, no problems? Class, you okay? Okay, all right. So um, unfortunately, because of time, we won't be able to um, hear everybody's um, everybody's conversation, but I'm sure you guys did a very good job, the people that um, I'm not gonna be able to listen to. So we just um, wanted to have an idea there of um, how you guys were doing, that sounds very good. Okay, so now what we're gonna do, is, I have a question for you for anything. Have you ever had to ask um, or confirm information with a partner, sorry, with a, with a customer? Have you ever had to confirm um, information with the customer in your company? No, nobody has ever talked to a, a customer in your company and, and, and verified information that you have to ask them? Yes, teacher, sometimes I have to call customer service. Okay, what kind of questions do you ask, Andres? For example, when, when we need uh, maintenance from Photocopies. Uh, uh, I have to, to ask the, the type of problem that it has to explain to the technician. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. So what 
questions specifically. Do you remember what questions you have to ask? Example when a photocopy has has a, a problem, uh, I try to to resolve the problem. Calling, if it's possible, they explain they explain to me. And if it's not possible, they come to to repair the photocopy. I can ask for example okay. what okay so what, what specifically what question to give you an example maybe you can ask the uh, question like um um did you receive the product oh well when, when it's a, a new product yes maybe mm -hmm. if they send the, the product mm -hmm. uh -huh. Okay, all right. So yeah, so that that could be a one one question that you can ask, right? Um, any other questions, guys? Can you think of any other question you would ask a customer? Um, me, China. Me, teacher. Hello. Yeah, yeah. Go ahead. Go ahead. Um, okay. Uh, I didn't okay. In my case, I work at. In human resources in the company. Yeah. And every day I talk in with person and asking about their needs. For example, if they need different kind of documents. And then I'm looking for resolve them this this need. Okay. So what kind of question? Well, give me an example of a question that you would ask. Um, for example, if they wanted to, want to have um, lend money, for example. Okay. All right. So and then I'm going. Yeah. Yeah. Continue. I'm. I'm asking for the news and I try to resolve it, resolve them, uh -huh. this kind of problem that they have every day. Okay. Okay. All right. Good. Excellent. So today, what we're going to do is we're going to be asking questions. Uh, we're going to be learning a little bit about how to ask about the experience, right? Um, the experience that somebody had in the past. So um, let's start with, first of all, I'm going to need two volunteers. Let me project this for a moment. Chair. Yeah. I have to go. Oh, okay. Okay. Well, um, good to see you. <laughs> Thank you for joining us. Okay, just uh, if you want, you can watch till the you can watch uh, the video on YouTube so you can see the parts that you have missed. Okay. Okay, teacher. Okay, great. Thanks. Good night. Good night. Okay. Good night, so, everyone. I'm I'm going. Bye, Marby. Bye. I'm going to need uh, two volunteers, one to read about Miss Mendoza and one to read about Mr. Torres. Who would like to read about Mrs. Mendoza? Me, Javier. Okay, wonderful. Javier, you can read about Miss Mendoza. And Mr. Torres? Would you like Me? To Me, teacher. Okay, who, um, okay. Je Janet? Yes. Okay, wonderful. All right, let's go ahead, let's read. And if there is any problem with the vocabulary, you can circle the word, okay, in your book, and then you can ask me about it. Okay, so let's go ahead. Let's first read. Uh, so, who was it? You even let Mr. Mendoza. Javier. Okay, so Javier, go ahead. 
I had a problem with the payroll, Mr. Mr. Mendoza. I had a problem with the payroll system. But the technician came to help me with it. He solved it, but he didn't say anything. He even charged me for a piece of he brought. He gave me a copy of the report, but I didn't understand it. Beside all that, I forgot to mention that he came very late. That's all. Okay, thank you. All right, very good. And now, Jana, you can read Mr. Torres. Okay, I have a problem with the car's engine. So I called for assistance. The mechanic was really kind. He was there really fast and he was quick to fix my car's problem too. He gave me the terms about the incident and he gave, gave me a report of it. Then I started the engine and everything was perfect. All right, very good, excellent. Now, just uh, be careful with this pronunciation here. The word here is engine, not engine. 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 Which means like a motor, right? The engine is a motor. Okay, good. Questions about vocabulary. I want you to write the vocabulary that you do not understand in the chat, okay? So write in the chat any words that you don't understand. Okay, decide. Hey, write the words in the chat right now. Decide between Okay, so that's it. Only, oh, okay, so we have to work. Three words so far. Okay, all right, let's, let's answer the first one. So the first one, the first question is, it says besides. Uh, the word besides, um, if I can find the word besides. Where did you see the word besides? Mm -hmm. ah, Mendoza. Okay, right here, besides. Um, so, the word besides means a, apart from that, okay? So it means like additional, additional to that, okay? It's like, it's like forget about this, let's concentrate that, okay? Does that make sense? Besides? Oh, sorry, I, I don't understand it. And it's similar to apart, apart, aparte de. Does that make sense? Yes? Yes. Yeah. Okay. And we have the word, we also have the word uh, salt. Um, let's see where it's salt. Oh, here. Yeah. He solved it. it Mean solve is when um, you have a problem and you find a solution to the problem. So solve means to find a solution, okay? And the last word that we have here is payroll system. Payroll is all of the names of the people that work in a company and how much they get paid. 
each person how much they get paid. That's the payroll. Like a planilla? Exactly. Mm -hmm. Okay, any other questions? No. Okay. All right, guys. So um, what we're gonna do right now is answer these questions. So did Mrs. Mendoza, I'm oh, sorry, did Mrs. Mendoza ha had a problem with the method of payment? Did Mr. Torres call his be best friend for help? And I want you to answer these two questions. It shouldn't take you very long. Okay, you ready? Do you have the answers? Yeah. Okay. So, for first question, did Mrs. Mendoza have a problem with the method of payment? Yes. Yes, yeah, she did. Yeah? Notice it says here, method of payment. Was the problem the method of payment? He didn't. I think it's system, not method. Exactly. He had, he had problems with the payroll system, but not with the method of payment. Okay, so the answer would be no. For this one, it's no. Next, number two. Did Mr. Torres call his best friend for help? Yes or no? No. No, no he didn't. No, right? No, he didn't. Um, okay, good, excellent. So any questions about these two people's experiences? Any questions about vocabulary, pronunciation? Pronunciation and... The pronunciation of what? The tile. He showed me the the tile. Teacher, is the tile. Oh, details. Details. Detail. Details. 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 On the, on the D. Details. It's not details. Details. It's details. Details. Thank you. Yeah. All right. Anything else? Details. And no, it's okay. All right. Let's uh let's go to the next one then. Okay, now if you notice here we have questions. Did Mrs. Mendoza have a problem with the method of payment? Did Mr. Torres call his best friend for help. And these are questions that can be answered with yes or no, right? So did Mrs. Mendoza have a problem with the method of payment? No, the answer is no. Did Mr. Torres call his best friend to help? The answer is no. So these, these oh. questions can be answered by simply saying yes or no. But there is a more correct way to, to answer these questions. And that's what we're going to be learning today. So I want you right now to take a look at the, the slide I'm going to show you. Oops. Give us some. Give me a moment. I'm on the left.
Okay, can you see this? Yes. Yeah. yeah. Okay, good. Now, so right now we're going to be looking at asking questions. And the, the, these questions are, are questions that you simply can answer yes or no. Okay. So these are the questions. Did you call a mechanic to check your car? Did you pay extra money? Did we receive a report? Did they sign the letter? Now question, I have a question for you. What do all of these questions have in common? W H worth. Mm, no, they're not W H question mark. We always start with. Did you yes. send uh -huh. me? Exactly. Did we always start with did? That's what they all have in common. We start with did, okay? So we have, did you call a mechanic to check your car? Did you pay the extra money? Um, did we receive a report? Did they sign the letter, okay? And after that, if you notice, we use the, the subject. Okay, because it's a question, so you have to make an inversion. Okay, so um, moment. Okay, so for example, here we have uh, did you who? Did she? Did we? And did they? Okay. Now, I want you to notice that uh, we have different we have different subjects here. We have you, she, we, and they. All of them are different subjects, but the, the we're all going to start with the word did. O sea que independiente. ¿Cuál sea el sujeto? If it's I, you, he, she, it, we. Siempre vamos a empezar con did. ¿Ok? ¿Estamos? Yes. Yes. Ok. So over here now, we're going to have the verb in the base form. Okay, so I'm just going to circle over here. So did you call? Did she? Did we receive and did they sign? Okay. So after after the subject, we're always going to be using the verb in the base form. Independent of what the sub, uh, independent of of um, of the subject, it's always going to be used the verb in the base form. So even with she, you don't say did she pace. So no se le pone la s, okay? Aunque sea she, we're going to say did she pay? Okay, estamos? Okay. Is that clear for everybody? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Okay. All right, good. So, by, para recapitular. Okay. 
Okay, so we always use did plus the subject plus verb in base form. And if it's necessary, we're going to add the complement. Okay, sounds good? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Do you have any questions? No. Me, no. No, it's all clear? Hello? All right. Good, good, good. Um, Como dijo Caperucita para verte mejor. Okay. And on, don't forget the question mark. Okay, because it is a question. So, all right. Did plus subject plus verb in base form plus a complement if necessary and always use a complement. Okay. Now, what about the question? Short answers. The answer is going to be yes, I did. No, I didn't. Yes, she did. No, she didn't. Yes, we did. No, we didn't. Yes, they did. No, they didn't. So this is going to be the, the rule basically is going to be the same independent of the subject. Okay, so, so again, no, no importa cuál sea el sujeto, eh, siempre va a ser la misma respuesta. So, right. Yes, subject plus did. Or no, subject plus did it. Okay, there you go. So yes, plus subject plus did, or no, subject plus did it. That's always going to be the answer. Okay, that's always, always going to be the answer. Now, um, I want you to notice. I want you to notice that um, that uh, the, the subject, again, it doesn't change. Lo importante aquí es el, el did y aquí el didn't. Okay, this is, affirm this is for the affirmative, this is for the negative. Okay, and this is short answer. All right, sounds good? Yes. Yeah. Questions? No, no questions. Something you want to ask me? No, no questions. Okay. Thank okay. You. So what we're going to do, I'm going to ask you to do two things for homework. One, you're going to complete this exercise. As it says, one, two, three, four, five, you're going to complete for homework. Okay. So the primer. Entonces, lo segundo es de que les voy a mandar, uh, les voy a mandar ejercicios para que ustedes, eh, lo voy a mandar en el WhatsApp, en el grupo de WhatsApp, para que ustedes puedan seguir practicando. Y la, les voy a mandar tanto para el, para um, ejercicios de la, uh, simple past affirmative, simple past negative, and uh, questions with yes or no questions in the past. Okay, para que practiquen entonces. Yes. Okay. Thank you. Any mm -hmm. questions? Only one question. One question. Uh -huh. What's your question? Is the same for a regular or a regular verb? That's a very good question. And the answer is yes. The only thing that changes is for the verb to be. Acuérdense lo que les dije el verbo to be es la opción siempre. Entonces, eso es lo único que va a cambiar. En ese caso sería, with the verb to be, I'll write it over here. Sería, um, 
subject. And that would be the question. Oh, sorry. Was or were? Let me get this with us. With or were. Was the subject plus the complement. Okay? That is the, in the case of was or were. And in the case of the answer, answer for this one is going to be the answer is going to be yes subject plus was or were or no plus subject plus wasn't or weren't. Okay, that's going to be the only exception. Okay, that's the exception because uh, we are we are talking about the verb to be. Yeah, le dije que es el verbo to be es siempre una excepción. Entonces yes. se vayan sorprendiendo para que no se no se sorprendan. Pero de ahí con todos los demás verbos siempre va a ser este. Okay. Is that clear for everybody? Yes, teacher. Yes. Okay. Yes, so, like I said, the homework is this exercise. I think it's exercise number five, I think it is. And the other thing is, I'm going to be sending you some exercises for, for you to, uh, to work on the affirmative, negative, and questions. And answers. Okay. Oh. What are you going to send to you? I'm sorry, I didn't hear you clearly. Oh, I'm going to be sending some exercises for you to work on. The exercises are uh, for the simple past affirmative and, and the past to be as well. The um, simple past negative and the verb to be as well. And yes or no questions and short answers. Okay, sounds good? All right. Okay, all right, I'm gonna stop sharing here. Um, okay, very good. But antes de cualquier cosa, vamos a hacer el último toma de, de asistencia. Alejandra? Here, teacher. Good, Andres? Present, teacher. Good, Edgar? Present teacher. Present. <clears throat> Present teacher. Fabiola. Fabiola? Okay. Eh, Francisco Javier. Present. Okay. Uh, Irene Azucena. Irene Azucena. Present. Present. Okay. Good, good. Jennifer Magali. Present. Great. Josué Alberto. <clears throat> Josué Alberto. Francisco. 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 Ah, sí, es cierto, sí, ajá. Okay, Cesar. Cesar. Ahí está. Ah, okay, good. Carla, Carla Cano. Present teacher. Okay, Carla Noemi. Carla Noemi. No. Um, ¿sí? 
Manuel Alejandro. The same teacher. Thank you. Manuel uh, Montoya. Present. Okay. Mariela. Present. Mariela, no. Mariela, no está. No. Okay. Probably connection. Okay. Eh, Marvin, Marvin Wilfredo. Marvin, it's Marvin. Working. It's working right now. Oh, yes. Okay. Eh, Warner. Present teacher. Good. Uh, Noemi. Present teacher. And Yvonne. Present. Perfect. Okay. Ya estamos. Entonces, okay. Eh, bueno, um, ahora les, le tocaría a Josué Alberto. ¿Verdad? Eh, pero Josué Alberto no está acá. Entonces, uh, no sé. Um, Marvin, no sé si usted quisiera tomar el hogar ya que la vez pasada, eh, quería hacer el cambio. Marvin. Marvin is not here. Not here. Hijo de tampoco. Ok, bueno. En este caso, ¿alguien, ¿alguien quiere adelantar? ¿Alguien quisiera adelantar su cupo? No. Ok, bueno, en este caso, chicos, it's been good to see you and um, take care. And remember, I will send you the, the exercises. Please do them so you can practice more. Okay, take care, guys, and see you tomorrow. See you good night. tomorrow. Good night. Good night, teacher. Good night. See you tomorrow. Good night. See you tomorrow. Sure. Yes, Warner. Um. Oh, one question, teacher, for for homework. Um, the pace. Uh, well, uh, from, from homework's uh, twelve. Uh, um, the platforms. Uh, really, oh, really don't know the, uh uh, how to eat uh, the problems? I don't know. If it's correct the question. What what exercise? Uh, the first exercise, teacher. The first uh, I, exercise. Yes, okay. uh, I'm just gonna get. Um, it. I don't know the, how to eat. How to do it. How to do this, how to do this. Yes, teacher, mm -hmm. sorry. Uh, yes, um, instruction the why the following positive sentences in the negative past tenses. Uh, I asked under uh, the instruction, I, um, I asked under. Sorry, uh, Warner, did you say um, number number 12? Um, homework 12. Homework 12, okay. Let me check it out. Just give me a moment. Okay. So you, you the question is how to do it. Uh, yes, teacher. Um, for uh, I, bueno, yo coloco here that wasn't dirty. Um, I don't know is it's correct or not correct. It's correct, yes. But, pero, pero, no. Okay, for this one, you have to just be careful with the uh, with the apostrophe. The apostrophe, no, yes, the apostrophe tengo, tengo is, cuidado, is... Tengo cuidado de, de, de cómo 
utilice el apóstrofe, que sea el apóstrofe correcto. Porque a veces, por, porque se puede, a veces se utiliza otro símbolo y no, le, no lo toma como correcto, porque ah. no está el símbolo correcto. Ah, ok, pero la, eh, la oración está correcta, entonces, teacher, eso es lo que quería. Ah, ok, entonces tengo que buscar. Es correcto. Uh -huh. Es correcto. Um, um, tengo que, ¿cómo se dice? Ahí. Uh -huh. Do you have any other questions? No, no more, teacher. No, you sure? Okay. Yes. I understand the, the, um, the correct, ¿cómo se dice? La escritura correcta. The correct structure. The correct, yes, teacher. Okay, good, good, good. Okay. But, Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. See you tomorrow. Uh -huh. See you tomorrow, Warner. Uh -huh. Take care. <laughs> Bye. Bye.